Hello everyone, welcome to the Open Feature Summit, North America. You know that feeling when you roll out a new features for your applications and your fingers are just crossed that this new feature doesn't break your code. Well, you can keep your fingers uncrossed and your servers happy with the help of the Open Features. Hello everyone, my name is Aman Gardare and currently I'm working at a Geo. So let's skip a dive into mocking the feature flags in the unit test with the help of the Open Features flags is nothing but the configuration mechanism that allows the developers to enable or disable specific features at a runtime with a code unit deployment. Think of it as a control panel where you can decide who sees the features and when so you can test the new functionalities safely before everyone uses it. Let's take an example where you your applications have the two versions for one for the, uh, one for the normal users and one for the premium users and you are building the new feature which is applicable only for the premium user. So with the help of this feature flags, you can ship your features to the premium user perfectly. And if somehow these features got stuck or failed in the production, you can easily roll back with the help of the feature flags. Isolates and validated feature specific logic in the small unit. Let's you test new features independently to ensure they work correctly without affecting the rest of your code in your application. Imagine you are adding the new features, which is the dark mode feature to your applications, but is only available for the specific kind of users. To test these features, you want to ensure the color scheme changes currently when the feature is enabled. Feature flag supports A-B testing, A-B testing and personalizations in control station. It helps you can create and test variations of the users, specific groups, allowing you to compare results and personalize the experience. Let's take an example like you can test it for the, let's take an example, like you can test it for the uh, normal users and the premium users correctly. It facilitates testing of edge cases and conditional scenarios using SOC feature flags, allows you to easily test all possible kind of scenarios, even rare cases by toggling features on or off. Feature flags facilitates, con feature flag facilitates continuous learning and improvements. Why use open features? First, easy mocking of feature flags. Open features make it simple to mock feature flags so you can easily test features in different states without complex steps. Second, centralized feature flag management. Open features provide a single place to manage all your feature flags, making tests more organized and reducing the needs to handle flags multiple places. You can use these features in your different environments, let's say dev, SIT, staging, replica, production, all your environments can be done in the one way. It enables comprehensive testing configuration, lets you cover all your testings by toggling features on and off. It improves the test stability and isolation in testings. Open feature allows you to isolate features for individual testing, so changes made to the one features won't affect to the other. How open features can be used in the unit testing? First of all, open features provide various kinds of SDK to test these features. They provide Java SDK, Go SDK, Go SDK, React SDK. So this SDK can be used in our used in our application. So we can use the open features to test in the unit testing. Set up the open features clients, mock the feature flags, implement the features, and write the unit testing for the flag management. Let's take an example how open features can be used for the unit testing in the Java Spring Boot. Well, if you are aware of the Java Spring Boot applications. In the Java Spring Boot for the unit testing, we use the JUnit and the Mockito to test the unit testing. So if you are using the open features to, for the unit testing in the Java Spring Boot application, step one, open features provide the Java SDK, add that SDK in your app, in the Java applications, add that SDK dependency in your pom.xml, in your pom.xml if you are using the Maven. Second, in the test class, mock these features in the using the JUnit and the Mockuto with the help of enabled and disabled. Third, use the feature clients. Use the feature clients to control the feature flag state for the specific type. Write the unit test covering both the flag test to ensure the functions behave as expected as the test. Well, if you are well, here you some of you have questions like JUnit and Mockuto can easily do this job. Why we use the open features? Well, JUnit and Mockito perform the same, while Mockito helps mark objects, it doesn't provide the specialized way to manage feature flags, to toggle them easily across test. Open features simplifies flag management 
built in it has a built in mock providers and ensure consistency and scalability making feature flag testing more efficient less prior convenient reliable here here is the example so here is the example of j unit testing for the new user sign up enabled so if your applications have the sign up and if the new user is if there is a new user the sign up will be enabled for the new users here i have used the evolution context api provided by the open features which is used for the various kinds of users so if the user is the new the sign up will be enabled for the new users but if the user is the existing user the sign up will be disabled for this user we can test this this perfectly with the feature flags conclusion mocking feature flags in unit test ensure reliability when deploying the new features by integrating the open features with the existing traditional testing tools like j unit and mockito in your applications teams can achieve consistent reliable flexible testing for feature specific logics ultimately open features help open features helps the teams to deliver the software more reliable and safely with the great confidence